Hello and welcome back to Can Performance. In this video, we will be carrying out an oil change and spark plug change on my A45 AMG. Even though that the car was serviced by the previous owner, I'd like to do things my way and just to make sure that it was done properly. So all the parts that we will be using in this install uh, is provided straight from Mercedes-Benz. The oil that we will be using is AMG oil, uh, 5W40 uh, and it's Mercedes-Benz grade 229.5. Um, so we've got six liters of engine oil, um, four spark plugs, again, straight from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, you can buy these from a third party source, but then again, you might need to gap them yourself. Um, but because they come straight from Mercedes-Benz, um, you'd be straight uh, plug and play pretty much. At the same time, we've got an oil filter, again, from Mercedes, and make sure you get an O-ring uh, for the sump plug, just to make sure that it's a crushable copper um, washer that basically crushes so you don't have no oil leaks at the bottom of the engine. Um, last but not least is the grease for the spark plugs, and we will show you guys how to use this um, while we carry out the service. So we are going to begin, but make sure this car has been running uh, so the engine is really hot. If, you car, if your car was running in the last five to 10 minutes, uh, take an extra care uh, as especially the area around turbo and the downpipe is gonna be extremely hot. So you don't wanna burn yourself. So keeping that in mind, let's begin. First thing we need to remove the engine cover. Let's go a little. I'm going to just pull it off, set this aside, and then we need to remove a couple of bolts here. All these pipes and stuff needs to be removed. Further up, we'll hold it up here as the spark plugs and the coil packs are right at the back there to get access. The oil filter is at the back of the engine over there. So first thing first, we're going to remove and loosen up the oil filter. But first, open up the cup. Yes, all good, no issues there. We'll just leave it loose, uh, just leave it there. So, 27 millimeter. So as you can see, that oil filter hasn't been changed in a long time. Wow. But yeah, that's the oil filter. We'll set this aside and we will cover the oil filter housing so nothing falls in there. So while the engine oil is draining, we are going to go around the car and check the tyres, the control arms, the drop links, all the bushings and everything just to make sure the rest of the stuff is in good condition. If there is anything that needs changing, we will make a log of that and we will change that in the near future. So we're going to check the brake discs, the brake parts, everything and then we're going to come back to the engine oil when it's fully drained, put the sun plug back on, lower the car and then we can do everything else at the top of the engine. Right, so I have checked all the bushings, the control arms, the ties, the brake parts, the brake discs and everything else that is accessible on the ramp. And everything is in good condition, apart from one of the air duct is missing. 
uh, from the, the brake discs, which is a cooling feature for these cars. The air goes through these grills and it cools uh, your brake uh, discs. But that, that, that pipe is missing, so I will be replacing that in the near future. But for now, the engine oil has finished draining, so we will remove our oil drainer. Right, so as you can see, this is the oil that came out from this car. Uh, I kept the valve closed so you guys can see what the oil looks like. I want to check the oil to see what's up oil, the state of the oil in the car uh, before I replace it with a new one. Um, and the oil doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look too great either. Uh, so yeah, that's all done. We can move this now uh, and then um, crack on with the rest. Right, so the engine oil has been drained out, the sump plug has been replaced and it was torqued to 40 newton meters which is the recommended by the manufacturer all the torque settings that we are going to be using in this service will be available in the descri description below for you guys uh, the under tray has been put back on the car and it's time for us to lower the car and start moving on to the spark plugs the oil filter and then refilling the engine oil let's go We'll get the new filter, again from Mercedes, and this will then clip in straight into there. Just like that. The O-ring will come inside with a new O-ring, which is this O-ring here, so that will come. and. We will put the new O-ring and there we go. The new filter is all ready to be put onto the car. So first we remove this, set this aside. And what we're going to do is place this filter. Right, so once you guys have removed the coil packs from the spark plugs, it's always a good idea to quickly blow out any dust and debris that could be sitting down there. So we're gonna quickly blow that out with compressed air and then remove the spark plugs.
Right, so once you guys have removed the spark plugs, make sure you get the new ones and compare them both across to make sure they're the exact same one in terms of length and also the gap, the spark gap between the spark plugs. If you have sourced yours from a third party, you need to check this. Otherwise, if the gap is different, you will have engine running rough and a few other problems. But because ours is straight from Mercedes, we are gonna uh, pretty much straight fit them in because the gap is exactly the same as these one. But there is a problem. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that this car was serviced by the previous owner. Well, you need to have a look at the state of these spark plugs that just came out of the car. Let's have a look. So for comparison, this is a brand new spark plug, straight from Mercedes, as you can see the logo and stuff on there. So this is a brand new spark plug. This is a spark plug that came out of this engine. Look at the state of this spark plug. It's a genuine Mercedes spark plug, but look at the state of this. It hasn't been changed for a while. So this is the reason I like to do my services, just to make sure that stuff like this doesn't happen. Right, now that the spark plugs has been replaced and they are torqued to 22 newton meters, it's time for us to install the coils back onto the spark plugs. But in order to do that, we need some spark plug grease. The part number for this will be available in the description below and you can grab this from any Mercedes garage, uh, approximately nine to 10 pounds. Uh, but let me show you guys on how to use this and where it actually goes. So first thing you would do is obviously open this little tube and it's this yellow color looking, greenish color looking grease that comes out of it. So what you would do is you'll get a bit of this and dab it inside like that and then just move it around like that. We're gonna do the same for all four coils. Right, so that almost completes the service on this car. The only thing that is left to do now is fill up the engine oil and then give the car a start. Right, so that completes my service of the oil change and spark plugs for my A45 AMG. I was told that this car was serviced prior to me buying the vehicle, which it clearly hadn't, as you guys saw from the state of the spark plugs. But nevertheless, it's all done now, and the only thing that is left for me to do now is start the engine, let that engine oil circulate through the engine. I'm not changing the air filter in this instance, as I will be replacing the whole air, air intake system with an induction kit. But if you guys are changing the air filter, it's very, very straightforward. There are four torque screws at the top, which you remove, and you can simply swap out the air filter. But for now, this is the end of our service. We're gonna quickly start the car, let the engine on circulate, and then take the car off the ramp. So let's, let's do that. Right, so that's it for this video. The next video is going to be the exhaust modification. So make sure you guys have subscribed to Can Performance and click on the bell icon so you guys don't miss when them video comes out. I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. Keep following this project. Hit that like button, share this with your friends, and we will see you on the next one.